Evening, everyone. It's uh, Tuesday evening, a few minutes after six, and this is your closing comment. It is video number 732. Uh, and it was kind of an interesting day. Uh, let's start off with uh, the news that we had. Uh, economic news, uh, consumer confidence, 121.7 versus an expectation of 113.5 and a big jump from 109 for last month. Uh, Case-Shiller price index up 11.9, which was uh, a tenth of a percent higher than uh, estimates. And the FHFA housing price index up nine tenths of a percent month over month, which was also pretty much in line. Um, we've had a multitude of earnings. I'm not going to go into all of them, but I will say that uh, there is a somewhat disturbing trend in some of these earnings in that the earnings have been good, but the price action in the stock has not. Uh, for example, uh, 3M beat both top and bottom line, and this morning was trading 197.79, which was down a dollar 84, or about one percent. Well, that continued on all day and got down to 188.63, um, and closed six dollars off that at 194.05. But instead of being down just under two this morning, it was down 558. Texas Instruments beat top and bottom line. Uh, it had closed at 190.21, down a dollar 15, and then traded down to 184. Even with those numbers, the last is 184.85, and that's down 651 or 3.4 percent. Uh, AMD went the other way. Uh, great earnings, great projections. Uh, the stock was 85.21 at the close, down 20 cents. Last is 88.83, uh, three and a half dollars higher, and up 3.41 or 3.9 percent. Uh, Starbucks beat was uh, 116.15, up 23 cents, and it got down to 112 and a quarter last is 114.74 it's only down a dollar 15 but you know popular stock like Starbucks you expect to see it go the same direction as the earnings Pinterest was a debacle it beat top and bottom line had closed up 85 cents today at 77.58 and then traded all the way back down, uh, traded up on the headline to 81.34, and then down to 68 and change. The last is 69.30, down 7.43 or nine and a half percent, and that seems to be on the basis of uh, positive responses with um, vaccines and the reopening trades, and less of a need for purchasing on Pinterest. Microsoft also beat, beat top and top line, beat bottom line, beat on margins. The stock had closed 261.97, up 42 cents, and immediately traded down over $10 to 251.32. Last is 253.37, and that's down $8.25, or 3%. And last but not least, Alphabet. Google's parent beat top and bottom. It had actually closed 2307 and change, down 19 and change, uh, and it immediately traded up 125 bucks all the way to 2430. Uh, the last is 2411.50, which is up $84 um, from the close and on the day, one day to the next, up well over a hundred. So we have that. Um, we also had GE, which missed on revenues and beat on the bottom line and sold off from its prior close at 1357 all the way down to 1291, but came all the way back and closed last is 1347 down a dime. Uh, with a high of about uh, 13 
1384. Uh, so, uh, pardon me, 1354. So it actually was uh, pretty close to on the high of the day. Um, as far as the markets, we were up, we were down. The Dow finished up $3.36. NASDAQ down 48. Uh, S&P, after making new highs, closed down 90 cents. I'm not even bothering with the percentage moves on a $3 move in the Dow or a 90 cent move in the S&P. Um, the Russell was up $3.26. Uh, the big mover today was the transports up 217.05 or 1.44%. Uh, market internals were about as you'd expect for these kind of moves. They were slightly more down than up on the um, NASDAQ. Uh, the Dow was one to one. The volume was a little bit heavier. Uh, oil rallied again. The gold did nothing. Bitcoin, uh, as we discussed a couple of times last night and this morning, Bitcoin has some work to do in this area. It had a very narrow range day compared to any of the days in the last uh, couple of weeks um, and closed 54,790 up 720. Uh, the dollar was about uh, unchanged and the bonds were actually down a point. Uh, the screen the chart on the screen here is the nat gas, and we have that up because uh, while we didn't get filled at 70 cents, we closed at 69 cents on the options that we bought just yesterday. Uh, down here near the low and at support, we paid 35 cents for them. Uh, they closed 69, and as you can see, we broke out of the little consolidation and continued up today. Uh, I'm hoping for just a little bit of a move higher uh, again tonight and into tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll get off at least half of those up 100%. So uh, an excellent trade. Okay, tomorrow we have uh, FOMC meeting, announcement of a rate decision, and the press conference, all of which should probably mean absolutely nothing. Um, although I am a little bit concerned that uh, they may start to talk or hint about tapering the sales. Um, this is also seasonally a very tough time of the year. And so I also expect that we are, you know, this is like, musical chairs and um, to me it seems like the music might be slowing down a little ahead of that sell in May and go away kind of seasonal move uh, so uh, I I'm being very concerned about that we also have mortgage applications wholesale and retail inventories and of course after the close tomorrow we have Apple along with a bunch of others all right, everyone, have a good evening. I'll be back first thing in the morning.